let's uh, let's do the first one here. How how would we edit this sentence to make it APA style? Have a suggestion. Let's get a few suggestions. Yes. In 1996, a journal entitled Current Directions in Psychology Science published much before Happy and then in parentheses Diner and Conference. So to make it a reference? Okay. So, yeah, so this, if it's in this text of the sentence, so for reference, all this information would belong in there, right? But if it's in the text of the paper, how would you do it? So this is like, in, you know, sentence in your paper. Anyone else? So let me write for references, right? How about this? Most people are happy. Diner, nine nine six. Like super, super simple, right? So I think I want you to swing all the way in this direction, and then if you need to add some more, then you can say something like diner nineteen ninety six, maybe assessed. Um, <clears throat> college students mood and found most are happy most of the time. Something like that. Okay, if you want to add more detail about who he's testing, in fact, in that study, they tested thousands and thousands of people across different situations. Yeah, Katie. Um, so if you had those sentences like right beside each other, for the second sentence, would you still need to put 1996? Like, how do you... Which one's right? These two up here? No, the ones that you just Oh, the ones that I just wrote, right. Happy. Um, like, how, how do you No, know when you no, the it? first mention, I mean, basically, you want, you want it to be clear what article you're referring to. So if you start a paragraph with, most people are happy, 1996. Then you could say, diner, assess college to this mood, and it would accept that you refer to that. I mean, you've all found scientific articles in psychology journals, uh, and so you can kind of, now that you know a little bit about, the, about APA style, you can look at those and see how they do it. Because they'll have examples of different kinds of citations. So again, for the in-text citation, most of this information gets thrown out and put in the references section. Not thrown out entirely, but put in the references section, okay? And part of the point here is to get more quickly to what the article describes rather than the logistics of how it was published. Kind of try to shine through into what was the study? Says college students mood. Maybe if you want to add more detail about, you know, through telephone surveys, I don't know. You might have to measure how they did that, right? So you have to go to that article, figure out the details of how they tested it. Questions about that one so far? Good. Okay. So the next one, Joseph DeVito. Now we notice that. 
Well, let's just start with the Devo 2000, right? So that's the APA style for that. But then if we look at this, it doesn't tell us anything about the book, right? So it's kind of a clue that, all right, when we take everything out here, all we have is just this publication exists. If you're writing that kind of stuff in your papers, it's a sign that you're being too wordy instead of referring to exactly what they did. Okay, what was the study that they did? What did they find? Just kind of getting to the point, getting to the science, rather than there was a publication made about technology. Right? Okay, so I'm, you might say something like surveyed. Uh, the field of psychology found something. Okay, let's go to uh, let's go to the last one, number four. That's not the last one. I'm sorry. Is that the last one of yours? Yes, last one's number four. Okay. <clears throat> so the title there gives us a clue about what it's about. Jargoning the title is. I'll give you a clue here. The, what the article is about is when you take vitamins, um, you feel healthier. And so, because you feel healthier, you do unhealthy things later on. It's kind of like if you have a salad, then you can have that extra donut, right? People have had that experience. They're like, okay, I was good, and now I get to it. Right? So, so that's the general finding here. How might we put that in the APA style here? by three authors, four authors, five authors. So up to five, you give everyone credit in the first mention. Okay. So, you know, if they contributed to that science, they get their name in the in your first mention of the article. Even in in-text citation? Even in in-text. So you'll notice in the first citation, in the first citation, up to five, you give everyone credit. But after that, you can say at all for three, for three on. Okay. Okay. And then it, if it's six or more, you don't have to list it. There was recently an article, I think, with 200 authors. You don't have to write all 200. So here's three. There's three authors, so all three would get mentioned. Okay. First time so I would write, I would do the last name of okay. the minimum with the year behind it. Yeah. And then I say, research the influence of taking vitamins on the perception of health risks. Research the influence taking vitamins on the perception of health risks. Good. Yeah. Okay. Pretty direct. Um, um, I think this is a good first step. Often what you'll find, and I'm going to talk about this in a second too, when you're writing is editing your own writing is part of the process of learning how to be a better writer. I often still have to when I'm writing, write a paragraph about what I'm going to write about, then start writing what I'm going to write about, and then delete that first paragraph, because I'm kind of just gesturing in that first paragraph. 
people have this experience. Um, that might not ever go away, uh, even if you get years and years of experience writing. Um, so, but I've learned to kind of identify when I'm doing that. Um, so in this case, I think this is, this is great. You might start with this, and then you might say, okay, they're researching the influence of taking vitamins on the perception of health. What is the influence? Right? So you might want to even get more specific. In this case, what they're saying is vitamins make you feel vulnerable. <laughs> right? Like vitamins make you feel like you're healthy. So the influence of taking research the influence of taking vitamins on the perception of health risk. You could also say found that vitamins make, make people feel healthy and therefore take more health risks. Okay, so notice I've made that very, very plain. I haven't used illusory and vulnerability, right? And I think you might not necessarily come to this unless you had read that article. I'm kind of giving you a little bit of the background, right? But putting in plain language what people actually found, rather than saying they researched this connection, and I, again, I, I often have to write something like that too. Like, this research was involved in testing this connection. If you write that first, then ask yourself when you're reading it, ask yourself, what was the connection? People who take vitamins <coughs> actually engage in unhealthy behavior because they feel like they're healthy and they can balance it, right? So push yourself to be more specific about the relationships. Don't just say this was involved in that. Don't just say this, um, there was a correlation here. Say people took vitamins, took health risks because they thought they were healthier, okay? So even though that's very plain language, that is actually pretty close to what they found here, okay? All right, so that would be one way of doing it. You could also say people who take vitamins feel healthier and therefore able to take more health risks, something like that. And then in parentheses, in Okay, I'm going to move on to AK style. <laughs>